Hello guys, today I have a demo project for you, which as usual will be available on GitHub as well, and this is related to time zones and events. It will showcase a few things. First thing, some quick admin panel stuff, so how to generate this form, then how to send notifications about events that are upcoming in an hour, and then finally, probably the most important one, how to deal with time zones, because events are happening probably on the other part of the world and you need to send notifications uh, to all the people in different countries. So how to do that? And first we will generate that structure and dashboard with help of our quick admin panel. So we will spend a minute on that. So we do event reminders as a new project. We choose, actually we don't choose anything else. It's defaults, Laravel 7, core UI theme, my favorite. And by default it has user management, but uh, we care about events actually. And CRUD events has a structure of not that one, it's suggested from my other project, but we need to have a title. So text field title, which is required. Then description, which is text area and optional. Then start time, which is date time field, date time picker, start time required. And then registrants, so that's the important part. We need to have belongs to many relationship to existing CRUD users, so registrants, optional, to the model users. Basically, it will be people who are invited to that event or who registered to that event. Save, and we save the CRUD, and that's it, what we need from the quick admin panel. We will download the code and then code locally. So locally I have installed that project just by doing composer install, artisan migrate, env file and all of the typical Laravel stuff. And we have our admin panel where we can add an event. Let's try to do that. Form filler Chrome extension, start time, for example this one, doesn't really matter, and we have one registered admin. So this is the core of our project and now let's get deeper. How do we send notifications to the events that are happening within an hour? And I've asked a colleague Marius to do that one by one and I will comment commit by commit what is happening. So first we create artisan command send reminders. Here I've opened that in PHP Storm so it will be more visible with bigger font. You can generate that artisan command by doing PHP artisan make command send reminders command. And then you have a signature so this will be the way to call that command from terminal or from wherever. And then inside of that command we just query the events query the events that are happening within the next hour. So this is the condition array, which goes to where between. So what is happening in Eloquent here? We are querying events where it has registrants, which means we don't really care about events that are with zero registrants. We only need to send notifications to actual people. So we query that, then we load that relationship with eager loading, and that's it. Then we do for each event, but notice this one. I'm not sure if you're familiar, but Laravel notifications can be sent in two ways. One way is to do user notify and then class of the notification, but also you can do notification send and pass the array. So this is an array of user class objects, which will be automatically parsed as the list of emails to send. And if we go inside of that notification class, we just send simple email with event as a parameter. And how does that parameter work? So we pass that in the parameter of the function and then in constructor method, construct of the notification, we just assign that to a private variable, this event, so this one, and then we can use that private variable in all the methods of the class, including to mail. So if there were other channels like to SMS or to whatever, we could use this event inside of any of that methods. And if we have event schedule in upcoming hour, we can do PHP artisan reminders send. I've set up Mailtrop account to receive the email and we have reminders of one event have been sent. Let's check our mail trap and we have event reminder with the details of the event. So that's the default behavior. Now let's add time zones. First we will add a drop down of time zones when creating the events. So how did we do that and how to populate that drop down? First we add a time zone field to the events table just as a simple string. Then it also needs to be fillable, so we add that to fillable in the model. And then in the create blade of the events, this magic is happening. So did you know about PHP function? It's not even Laravel function, it's not any package, it's time zone identifiers list. 
And if you click that, you go to PHP. So you can see the file PHP jar. It's not even vendor or Laravel. So we just do for each of that time zone list and assign default Europe London if nothing is passed. And then we save that in a time zone table. So again, form filler, random time, registrants, and then we choose that the event is happening at that time in Europe London time zone. Another interesting thing that happened behind the scenes, which you didn't see, is in form request in validation, we have this. So did you know that there is a rule, a validation rule in Laravel called time zone? And it will validate if that string that is passed is within that time zone list of PHP. So if someone is entering time zone by hand and made a typo, it would validate that the time zone is actually within that list. Time zone is also visible in the list of the events and now we need to send the reminder including the time zone. So set reminders command now looks a bit different. We will count manually how many notifications have been actually sent and now we are querying events which are happening 24 hours ago or 24 hours ahead in Europe London time zone. It's a pretty weird logic I know but our goal is not to miss any event which are happening like 12 hours ahead or 12 hours before in various time zones. So we query a lot of events and then we do for each and we check that. So we check if that event is happening exactly in one hour ahead by doing diff in minutes. So we query now time in the event time zone and compare that to the event start time in that time zone as well. It would be hard to query that with Eloquent and we would probably need to use MySQL internal functions for the time zones. So we've done it in Eloquent and Laravel way with Carbon. So we are querying diff in minutes if it's within 0 and 60, between 0 and 60, and then we send notifications to that registrants. And also inside of that notification, we've added start time event time zone. So people would get notified of which time zone it is. So the final email will look like this. So recipient will see not only start time, but Europe London as a time zone. It could be really important in international projects like meetup.com or even Zoom calls or, or whatever. Time zone is really important to communicate with people around the world. Generally, working with time zones, it's really tricky. So whenever you work with them, you need to double check all the data, all the times, all the conversions. So probably you should have unit tests or something like that to make sure that the conversion is actually happening in correct way. So this project will be available on GitHub. And if you like the idea of pre-generating part of that code in this panel, you can try our quickadminpanel.com Laravel Admin Panel Generator. And see you guys in other videos on this channel.